baby. We just had the American election, and now we're gonna amp it up in the Americanization and go to Road America. This time in the GR86. We're pushing for that safety rating of 4.0 before the end of the season in five weeks. So join me and let's get into qualifying. And across the line at Road America to start our first qualifying lap, and it is wet out here. It's very wet, it's like a tsunami out here, but we're gonna have to make do as we come up to the first corner. It's not been the smoothest of uh, qualifying sessions on the outlap, but we'll make do with what we can what we can manage here. So there's already been a little while go. Uh, in fact, there's the uh, there's the tire marks. Don't look at those from last lap. But uh, we've gotten around the first two corners, not too bad. Now it's just a couple of long straights. Very long one here as we go under the cheese truck. Yes. And I've adjusted my brake pedal slightly, so maybe a bit different, a bit uh, different feedback here that we need to get used to. But should still be okay. I've done that as I think it will improve my braking. This is what I, uh, from what I showed on stream not that long ago. Trying to take different lines into all these corners. Just getting the most grip possible. There's a lot on the outside of the corner here. We've got to try and make sure we don't go off track or wobble around on the curves too much. Now as we come up to this left hander. Again, trying to find the grip here. It's not quick, but we've managed to get around the corner. Which is the main thing. Again, seems to be quite a lot of grip on this outside edge here. We might manage to stick full throttle, well, on, on the throttle all the way around, not full throttle, that would be ridiculous. And uh, good. Come up to this, I'm going to do a slight lift just to be safe. I don't think you need to, but I just can't mess up, I can't afford to mess up this lap. And now a right-hander coming up at the end here. Should be able to take this. Best time so far is a 2.58. Um, we've gone around that. It says we're down on our time. But I haven't set a time yet, so I don't know what's going on here. But I'm driving very cautiously, and that's understandable. I don't think there's going to be time for me to set another qualifying lap. No. <laughs> Just as I say that. The brakes, the brakes lock and I'm gone. I'm gone and there's no time. There's only a minute and 10 left. And that was my only chance. And I will now come across the line with no lap time set. We must be in a pretty bad uh, split because only two people managed to set a time. I wasn't one of them. So we're going to be starting in P9. <laughs> Join me in the wet and let's head to the grid. And the leaders are off. The lights are about to go green and we're underway here. The lights are green and overtaking is available now. We have to make sure on this first chaotic lap that we are not one of the ones who are going to spin out because it will be someone. Let's make sure it's not us. I can't see where the braking zone is. Let's just break early to be safe. Oh, not too much, though. Don't want to get rear-ended either. Someone has indeed gone off. But it was someone behind me. Oh, I've got to be careful on those brakes. Oh. I have lost a position, but... Uh, it's the guy in front, uh, in seventh, I think started from the pit, so I am actually gained a position anyway. And we're following the Valvoline car down the straight, getting some sort of slipstream, but the spray is outrageous. Got to be so careful here on the brakes. And not to rear end anyone either, or spin out. We've managed not to. Guy sending it down the inside here. Oh, and he spot. Oh. No, it's okay. We didn't get any incident points. He lost the control a little bit. On the exit. Oh, just like I did there. And I rear-ended him, but thankfully it was nothing major. But again, we've lost the position. 
We're going... Look, we haven't yet spun out, but we're not exactly going quick. We're losing positions left, right, and center. I do want to cover, not only cover this off on the outside, but stay on the outside to find as much grip as possible away from that pesky racing line. Whoa, my days. Oh, that was nearly a disaster. Again, a bit of a lift off here just to be safe. And I think that was definitely a good idea. Oh my gosh, I've got to be careful here. They're making contact with each other. I was gaining on them fast, both of them. But the contact... Oh, and that's a good, good pass here. We're going to get some traction on the outside. And we have actually made a double overtake there. That wasn't actually that bad. That was nice. Somehow. Francisco, car number Again, trying to find the grip, and we have done. This is where I spun out in qualifying. Let's not make that happen again. On to pit straight now. It's not clean, really. It wasn't the smoothest as that we can do, but we've managed nearly to survive a lap. Oh, only five more of those to go. Oh, and that one wasn't good either. I've slid four-wheel slide right off. Uh, it's just an off track, but I've lost a position from that too. And there was another guy, another blue blue 86 behind that did the same thing. Under the cheese truck we go. Oh, big spin out in front. Which way is he going to go? Oh, my God, he's not putting the brakes on. He's going everywhere, but I've managed to predict it well enough to go around him. Oh, lucky I was a bit further back, I think. But that means we did make up another position back into seventh. Although the rest of the pack is... They've just buggered off. I need to start growing some cojones and breaking a bit later. Because I notice I'm going so slow through all the corners. And yet still, still, you know, spinning it up on exit. It's not, it's not the entry that's, that's, that I'm messing up. So I, need, I can go a bit harder, I think, on braking later. Let's try it ahead. Surely nothing bad will come of this. Famous last words. Yeah, I mean, yep, that worked all right. Let's take this grippier line out here. Now oh, that's better. Okay, I've, I've got the hang of it here. No, no problemo. No problemo. We're not really closing the gap to anybody ahead, though. In fact, it's got two seconds greater since I last mentioned it. Um, oh, there and thereabouts. Whoa, a lot of rotation on the car. Not much speed, though. All my days. <laughs> Poo. Massive poo in my pants right now. Oh my days. Many poos shot out of my A life. <laughs> New fastest lap for me. And that's right up there. That's right up there with the top five in terms of fastest lap times. So I uh, will take that as, a, as a, a minor win or at least a good sign of progress anyway. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I caught it. I managed to catch it, nearly swung out at the rear and surprised me. Like that! Oh, on the grass! Oh my, that's even more poo than last time. Only 13 seconds to go, which means this is going to be the white flag lap. Comfortably in sixth, and with me driving, anything could happen. But let's do a good lap here, let's put in a good lap, and we should stay in this position, which would be a good one for us. Oh, incident! Incident in this corner for the guy ahead. There he is. There he is. We're gonna make up a place. Incredible. He's done it for us. Thank you, Matthew Rhodes. Oh, we've passed him from an incident in the carousel, the fake one, not the Nurburgring one. And we've we've we, 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 we've we've gone past. Rhodes. Yeah, he's had another incident. He's gone well well back. Well, well Danny Welbeck, and he's gone. 10.8 is now the gap behind, but we've also come round the last corner incredibly. 
and we are going to come across the line, take the checkered flag in P P5. It says P6, but we're in P5. Great drive, okay. great race. There we are, P5, ladies and gentlemen, in the wet at Road America. Not too bad, very solid work. But before I check the results, don't go anywhere because we have a second race coming. Plus, if you are enjoying this video, please do not forget to smash that subscribe button so that you don't miss any more. And you can join my Discord. Link is the uh, first in the description. And the results are in. They better be good. They're, they're okay. Plus 0.02, pretty small. Um, we had a couple of incidents, but nothing major. But we got a nice plus 48 to our I rating, so... Nice, we'll take that and uh, back near 1300, which is where we want to be. And now I think it's time for some fun. We're going to go back to one of the most chaotic circuits. So if, you, if you're a rookie, you know that this is one of the most chaotic tracks in the game when you're starting out especially. Circuit de Ledenum. Let's jump into qualifying. And we are underway for our first qualifying lap. Now I messed up the final corner. So this lap is not going to be, it's not possible that it's going to be the greatest but we can at least set a sort of baseline lap here. In fact, the first couple of corners weren't the greatest anyway, but that's okay. We can still maximize the rest of the lap that we have here. And other than that, in practice, I've been doing pretty well. So I'm pretty, I should be able to do something here. But that always comes with a risk saying that. You never know, the commentator's curse. As we go through the hairpin, I didn't do too badly. Take as wide a line as possible here. Just a slight lift off so that we stay in a, at the correct line for this uphill section, which again, as wasn't too bad. Now over the crest, where we can finally see the apex. And then this is a weird long corner that tightens at the end here. In fact, that was actually all right. I'll be surprised if I do it as well as that next lap. Unfortunately, because the first part of this lap wasn't great. Ooh, thought I might have to counter steer there, but no, it's okay. We got through the corner unscathed and we will set a time. Unlike last race, we will actually set a time. And we will start our white flag lap as well. P3. You're P3. Right, well, we ended up in P5, but we know that's not where we're going to finish because this is a chaotic race, a lot of incline changes, and perhaps a lot of rookies in here as well. So get ready for some fun. Join me and let's head to the grid. And the lights are on. We're about to get underway. And there they are. They are green as we take off from P5. Coming over to the middle slightly. Squeeze this guy in here. See if we can't get past here in the first corner. No, he, he defended nicely. I didn't want to cause too much chaos in that first section. However, we have... Oh, well, we're still fighting with P4 here. Leave him some space. Oh, we have made up the position now. Oh, he's going to bloody send it down there. But there was a little bit of contact in front on this McDonald's car. Oh, I'm being squeezed. Oh. <laughs> oh, contact. Oh, it's, it's light. It's light. It's nothing major. It's just, it's just racing. Just racing contact here. Yes, I did, I did, I did. He's gone, he's gone, he's out. Okay, <laughs> that was scary. Oh, and I nearly lost it myself trying to avoid him. But everything is okay for now. Let's get through this left-hander. Getting caught a little bit from behind. Charlie Croker, who I know just messaged me, said he's in the Discord, so I know you're watching this, mate, and I am trying my very hardest. To defend against you. Oh, I didn't take a great corner. Oh, I didn't manage to get past though. <laughs> this is good. This is why I love rookie class races. I know we're mostly D and C class, but I uh, just uh, maybe it's the MX5. Maybe it's the maybe it's the tracks that they offer. I don't know, but it's so much fun. 
Yes, another spin out. It's the McDonald's car of Alex Ems. He's gone. He's gone. So we are through. We're in top three now. Podium position here. A slight lift through here. Oh, bigger lift needed than we actually made. All right, Nick. The next car is Curry. Car and number two. We've got Curry ahead of us, which would be great if it was lunchtime. And that's what was coming for dinner. Oh, I'm going to get rear-ended. Oh, my days, I did. Oh, and I got side-ended now. What was that, mate? And about 25 people have gone past me. Wheel damage, but not enough to be called in. If we can manage it for the rest of the uh, six, seven laps, then we should be able to... We should be fine. We've made up a, another position and a pretty simple overtake there into the into the hairpin, the banked hairpin. Damage wheel nearly sending me outside track limits there. This is it's a little bit harder to control the car than I would like, but it's not outrageous. Hey, look in your mirrors, your mirrors, mate. What are you doing? Oh, he's gone, but that that was alongside him there. We can review that afterwards, but. Please, please check to your left and right, my friend. Sit behind Andreas here. And see if we can get another... B6. Good luck. That's your best He's breaking there. Don't find that necessary. So let's see if we can't make an overtake here. Where he's clearly not as confident. And we have done. It's not maybe the best place to overtake, nice but... Great move. Keep he's not... Oh, 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 that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's on me. That one's on me. Oh, no. No, oh, we're back up into eighth. We've lost two positions again. Now we've got to take it easy on the cooked tyres. I do want to make progress. We should be higher than eighth, really. I mean, fifth, fifth is really the minimum here, given that's where we started. No, nearly, uh, I nearly screwed it up again on that hairpin, and I have screwed it up enough to let the car behind me close the gap to 0.2 seconds there for a minute. Slightly back up now, 0.4, but it's still close. The gap in front is still around 2.4, 2.5 seconds. Taking some of these corners pretty nicely. Now gap is 1.5 ahead the shortest it's been in a long time You've just done oh I've closed the gap up now we are just within a second here of Makino in front nearly spun the car out there so the gap is going to just edge above a second now again we are getting so close and again the gap in front of that has fallen by a second it's 3.5 now Although, the gap behind is also tight, as I've just noticed Daniel going to make a move onto me in, in, in that corner. But he didn't quite get there. This is going to be the white flag lap as we come across the line here. The gap is 0.8 seconds. It is this lap or never. Andreas Bauer is also not that far in front. Less than three seconds now. It's probably a stretch for this lap. But with any luck and some good driving, we should be able to get Makino here. In fact, we're right up behind him now. I'm more confident and able through these sets of corners. Which is going to allow me to get very close. Oh, look at us three all together now. 1.5 separates us three here. As Andreas, some reason, goes to the inside through that corner. I nearly get outside track limits. Oh, I'm going to now. It's a bad corner. I've lost out. And I've lost time there. The gap's back above a second. Maybe these two will slow each other up a bit as they battle on. We haven't been able to make a move as we come down to the final corner. It's not the best. Oh, and it's terrible for me. And that may even cause me to lose a position. It will. Daniel's finally got what he wanted. He's got past me. And unfortunately, a terrible, terrible last corner caps off a pretty terrible race. So we finish in P9. And the results are in.
It's not going to be good, and it's not. We've lost all the progress we made on our I rating there, plus five. Uh, and we, uh, we've we also lost a substantial chunk to our safety rating as well. Didn't do us any good in terms of progress, but it was a lot of fun. And we can keep pushing. We got five more weeks. The only weakness I have is for the brunettes. You already know I'll kill any shit I do next. No kids, so I'm raising the roof. Next year, they'll admit they just stands like an Uzbek.